G'day guys, how you going? Farking here, back with a new video. This time I'm going to be doing a little bit of an update uh, tutorial on fixing some more FPS issues for CSGO. Basically going to be a little bit of a continuation from the last video that I did. Um, there's a couple of questions that people have had and I thought I'd just address them in a new video. So, the first thing that uh, I want to address is people saying that they're getting a lot of lag during smoke grenades. So say for instance, I'll go to run in there and the FPS will drop from say 250 down to about 25, 50, like 25 to sort of 50 FPS. So after a little bit of um, trial and error and trying to figure it out, I figured out that it seems to be that a lot of the issue stems from if you go Steam's settings and you go in game and you uncheck the enable the Steam overlay while in game. Okay. I don't normally have it unchecked because I don't get this FPS issue, but it seems to have fixed uh, a lot of the problem for a lot of people. Now, in saying that, if you uncheck that, you're not going to be able to press shift tab in game and you're not going to be able to bring up your Steam overlay. Um, but, you know, what's more important to you, the FPS or bring up the Steam overlay? Uh, the next one was if you go Counter Strike and you go to Properties, Set Launch Options. Uh, sort of like my armor video, so change uh, your, one of your launch options to high, so that'll set the CSGO pro, uh, process as high, and also uh, your CPE count to 4. Uh, that's for me, but I will leave in the comment section below uh, which you'll need to change yours to, so what CPU count you'll need to change it to, because it can be um, a little bit fiddly trying to figure it out if you're not sure. But all the instructions will be in the description. So before you change anything there, make sure to check it out. Press Control Alt Delete and bring up your task manager. Then go to Startup, and in here this will show all your this will show all of your um, startup uh, programs. Okay, so I have quite a few disabled, but then I've also got a couple enabled. Uh, but a lot of them are not as uh, important as what you would think. And this is just the stuff that I want to start up. Uh, when my computer starts. So that might help you out a little bit. Alright guys, so now that we're in game in CSGO, what you can do is you go start, go to video settings, you can change your resolution to a lot lower. That will help your uh, computer to up its FPS a little bit. Um, these are my settings at the moment. Basically everything's on low or disabled, things that you don't need. Um, a big one is this one here, wait for vertical sync. Put that on disabled, don't have it on triple buffered or double buffered, you don't need it. And if you kind of have a little bit of a play between them, you'll notice that um, triple buffered makes it feel very like slow and laggy kind of thing. Uh, whereas disabled is like clean and crisp. So have a little mess around with that, but those are my settings. The next one that you want to bring up is go CL under, uh, CL underscore force preload one, okay? And that will basically make it that the game will load all of the textures and everything and all the audio prior to get in, uh, entering into the game. So that might fix some of your FPS issues. All right, so I'll just quickly jump into a game and I'll show you basically how that works. You'll notice that it takes a little bit longer to get into the game, but once you're in, it um, will make for a far smoother experience for you. All right. So in the game now, and as you can see, it seems to be just fine. Alright guys, and the last one that you can do, and this is a question that I was getting for people with um, constant high FPS and they can't figure out why it is. Give this a try. Go to your command prompt. So go start menu or your Cort uh, Cortana then search um, command console and then open that up. You'll see this little box. Type IP config space forward slash forward slash flush DNS. Okay, hit enter. So successfully flush the DNS resolver cache and you can close that down. And that might fix your FPS. I had somebody comment that they were getting around 900 FPS. They did that and it dropped down. It hasn't gone above 100. So yeah, 
Uh, if you like the video, guys, do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you've got any other questions, leave it in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Peace.